Hey everyone, this is Jo Matt from Diva Fit Mom. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. It's great to see you here. In this video, you will learn how to reduce sugar in your diet in order to assist your health. Cutting back may be helpful for weight loss and it may result in other health benefits such as being more alert, having healthier looking hair and skin, as well as having more energy. So stay tuned, put that sugar down and remember, you're sweet enough. Sugar is everywhere. Added sugar is the killer of all evil and learning how to reduce it will boost your health in many ways. You can boost your chances of success by preparing your mind, body and your fridge first. So start writing a food journal of everything you eat and assess how much sugar you're actually consuming on a daily basis. You'll be really surprised. According to the American Heart Association, the maximum amount of added sugars you should eat in one day are, for men, 150 calories, which works about 37.5 grams, which is nine teaspoons, 100 calories per day for women, 25 grams, and six teaspoons. Now, those guidelines do not refer to sugar that is found in milk and fresh fruit. So remember that one teaspoon has four grams of sugar. Reducing sugar in the diet is actually easier than you might think, and it should be considered. Due to its impact on insulin and blood sugar, it's really important to keep sugar levels to a low, especially if weight loss is your goal. Our body actually needs glucose to function, but unfortunately, most people are just eating too much refined sugars for the body to cope with. It makes us feel sluggish, and so if you're feeling like this on a regular basis, be sure to check out how much sugar you're actually consuming on a daily basis. If you want to read about what refined sugar actually can do to the body, then I recommend an absolute must read. It's called Pure, White and Deadly, How Sugar is Killing Us and What We Can Do About It. It's by John Yudkin. Once you've read this book, you may just think twice about the sugar choices in your diet. I've put a link in the description below as to where you can find that book. So tip number one, add foods to your diet that balance out your blood sugar levels and reduce insulin, such as low-carb foods like non-starchy vegetables. Insulin is responsible for lowering blood sugar as well as storing fat, so it's important to keep sugar spikes under control by ditching sugary sweets, processed carbs, white bread and flour, and anything that is not in its natural state. If you're a diabetic, double check with your doctor should you change your diet or eating regime. Tip number two, try not to eat processed or sugary carbs for breakfast. Eating sugar laden carbs early in the day will cause your insulin to rise and your energy levels to crash, making you much more tired during the day. If you are a pancake fanatic, use coconut flour for example and add some fruit, fresh fruit. Fruit sugar is okay and sugar will increase your cravings much more so really try not to have it for breakfast. So tip three, eat clean foods in their natural state. Eating foods such as fruits and vegetables will provide your body with fiber and fruit has natural sugar but should be kept to a minimum if weight loss is your goal. Add green juices in the morning which will set you up for the day. Check out my video about celery juice as this is great first thing in the morning. Eating a plant-based diet will provide your body with fiber that will aid your digestion. Make sure to fill your fridge with these types of healthy food options. Preparation is key. Tip number four, up your lean proteins. It's really important to get those into your diet, the right balance, because they will balance out the blood sugar levels and help to keep the sugar cravings at bay. So try eat proteins at breakfast as this will make you feel full. Foods like free-range eggs, wild chicken and turkey are good lean protein options. Tip number five, eat more healthy fats such as avocado, almond, butter, fish, nuts, oils and seeds. These have many health benefits such as reducing inflammation and reducing the risk of coronary heart disease. Really good tip number six is read the food labels on everything. You'll be in shock when you start reading food labels and will realize that sugar is absolutely everywhere. You'll also find many different forms of sugar, such as fructose, sucrose, and glucose listed, and it may motivate you just to switch to more natural food choices. So check those labels for the grams of total sugars. Tip number seven, reduce sugar, starch, and grains, such as wheat, 
white bread. A slice of processed white bread can have up to three grams of sugar per slice. That's around one teaspoon. And these foods also raise your insulin, causing you to have sugar spikes. In the end, you will crave the same foods all over again to get your energy levels back up again. Tip number eight, avoid soft drinks and reduce your alcohol intake. Instead, add stevia powder or stevia leaf to your drinks. Reduce alcohol, especially beer and wine. Dry white wine has around three grams per glass. So if you have a few glasses per day, then you're filling up your sugar capacity with sugar alcohols. Also, if fat loss is your goal, Bear in mind that the alcohol will be burned first before the body burns any fat. Tip number nine, avoid fat-free labelled foods as these are always substituted with added sugar. In the fat-free food boom, people became fatter and everyone was informed that fat-free was the way forward. But obesity stats grew tremendously during this phase and afterwards. Basically, they took the fat out, replaced it with sugar. Yikes, what a bad move that was. So check your sauces, your salad dressings, ketchup, and all those things. You'll find have hidden sugars. You'll just be amazed to see what's lurking in those foods. And tip number 10, this is really important. Assess your sugar eating habits. Emotional eating can cause you to reach out to the sweet cupboard. And I know I've done this myself, I've been there. So ask yourself a question before you eat sugar or sugary foods. Why am I eating this? Is it because I'm hungry? Am I craving sugar? Do I just need stress relief or do I need to comfort uh, an emotional time? An out of control sweet tooth may be detrimental to your health, so it's really important to figure out why you're eating sugary foods. So I really hope that you got some value out of my video today. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. That way I can always keep you updated with new videos that I post. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.